Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a great week. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can lock your elements inside your design. So if you're working on Canva and you want to put in different designs and change them uh, in different ways, so this will be a good, uh, a good tool for you to use and uh, I will show you that. If you're new here, my name is Steve from stevingency.com. I create videos every week so I can help you learn something new and something that might even help you make some extra income on the side. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. So let's get into this. It's going to be a very quick one. As you can see, I'm on canva.com. Uh, if you don't have an account yet, just go to canva.com and sign up for a free account. And then you'll be able to do what we are doing today. And uh, if you want to explore Canva a bit more, and find out all different templates and uh, designs and uh, i'll leave the link down below as well so that you can uh, um, you know try canva for 30 days for free uh, with the pro version and uh, if you uh, like it you, you know you can continue to use it or otherwise you can just keep your free account and just uh, design as much as you want as i said it's going to be a quick one so i've got a design here um let's say i'm working on this design as you can see i've got this element here and I've got the text and I've got this element and that one. So, and I've got the Canva logo there. So if I'm just working out and trying to find out uh, which design will suit uh, my design better, but I don't want to change the Canva logo and leave it as it is with the color, what I will do, I will click onto that. And then at the top right hand corner, you see there's a bean there, there's a, another plus to duplicate, but there's a lock there. As you can see, the lock is open. And so what you do, you just click on that lock and then it's locked that element as you can see if i click on it now it will not move uh compared to if i do this see this one uh, they can move anywhere um so that one is locked uh, i cannot move it it will stay there because that's where i want um uh, to do so it is very very helpful if you want to position an element uh, somewhere like i did that and you want to keep it there while you are working on this uh, the rest of the uh, of the canvas and then once you finish then you can maybe unlock it and the other thing that uh, is useful for as uh, is if you want to change the color of the entire uh, design you can lock a couple of uh, elements that you don't want uh, their color to be changed so that you can play around and see which color suits you better and uh, lastly the other thing that uh, you might want to use the lock element is if you are creating templates maybe to sell to people online so what you can do you might have an element uh, that you want to keep inside your your design as like your brand kind of or if as something that you want to stay in the design even if someone bought it they can um, change it in somehow but that element will still remain there because you've locked it they cannot change it so those are the three main things that i usually use uh, the locking uh, device for or the locking um, tool for so i hope you can enjoy that as well and um, design more so what you can do uh, we can do now as, as i said i locked that and then maybe i want to change the color and the text of uh, this design i'll go to a uh, style on the left shoe bar here i'll open the style and with style it's got different um colors with different uh fonts as well different font and font uh, sizes so if you click on one it changes um the color inside your canvas uh, so let's try one and see I'll, I'll use this one the anton uh, prompt medium if i click on that if you look at the design you see that it is completely changed so that the color of the design is changed but uh um canva uh, element because i've locked it it's still there so let's try a different color again so you can still see when you do that one you see it's all changed but the color uh, logo is still there and also the same color it hasn't changed so let's say we lock um uh let's lock the um i'll just uh, let me change uh the text let's see this one uh, i'm gonna do that one yeah, let's do that. And then I'm going to lock the, um, I'm going to lock the text. So I'll go up. Sometimes the, the lock, it doesn't appear there when you click. Uh, it's with the three dots there because there's so many. So it kind of uh, compress them. So you go into the three dots and then uh, the lock will come up and then you just lock. So that element you'll see here now the lock is closed. So if we go back now and try and change um, the color, um, you see uh, that um, element is still uh, locked and that font is still there it hasn't changed let's change the color and see again you see the color has changed but the font and the font size is still locked um, and it's the same one that uh, I wanted so that's how you can uh, change the lock uh, so you can put the lock into your design while working on the other ones until you get a different feel and a different design that you you think you know works better for you um, I'll, let me see I think maybe this one let's see if this one will work uh, that's too dark you can try that one um, let's see there's another one uh, 
no, let's try, that's my, uh, right, let's try again, let's see, so you keep trying until you get to the one that you really, really want, so I think I'll leave it here, as you can see, Canva is still there, and the text is the same there, but if I want to, to move, uh, um, that I'll have to unlock it and then I can then move it around uh, somewhere or Canva as well I can unlock it and then move around and the other way is if let's say maybe you want to group the uh, a certain elements together let's say the text and this element here I want to um, uh, group them together uh, I'll just um, drag a mouse around uh, the two elements and then I'll let go and then it, they can, you can move them around uh, but if again you want to lock them um, I can lock them so you see that I cannot uh, they can move now so now I can then change the other elements here and then move them around you know and then those ones will remain where they are where I've locked them as you can see they're still there so that's um, how you can play around with your designs and then um, hopefully um, it you know it helps you uh, not to mess up some other things that you want to leave in your template alrighty guys I hope you've enjoyed this uh, it was a quick one if you have please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video I really appreciate you checking out my videos and uh, you know sharing them and your comments as well this really helped me and uh, I'll, I'll forever grateful so you take care guys I will see you in the next video Peace, bye